Good morning, you guys. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas. This morning, it's myself and Miss Corey and Mr. Dustin and Miss Hillary. So let's get started by saying a word of prayer, okay? Dear Lord, we just thank you for this day and we thank you for the chance that we get to come together and worship you, Lord. We thank you so much for the meaning of Christmas, Lord. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for sending him. And we thank you so much that he died to save us, Lord. We thank you for all the gifts that you provide us with in our lives, Lord, blessing us daily. You are so good to us. I pray that you'll help us listen and get something wonderful out of this message today. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. Let's do our ABC cards. Are you ready? A, all have sinned, right? Good job. How about B, believe on the Lord Jesus. And what about C? Children, obey your parents. Landon and Avery, are you listening? Obey your parents. All right, and let's do our Bible truth cards, okay? Are you guys going to help me? All right. Reese and Judd, what word means God knows and sees everything we do? Do you remember? He's omniscient, isn't he? That's right. Okay. Aslan, what word means God will always keep his promises? Do you remember, Aslan? Faithful. Good job. All right, let's see. Um, how about JJ and DJ? What did Jesus come to save us from? What did Jesus come to save us from? The punishment of sin. Good. And let's see, Alyssa, Brody, are you guys watching this morning? Can we trust God only sometimes or all of the time? That's right, we can trust God all of the time. Good job, guys. Let's get started on our lesson. An angel of the Lord came and spoke to Mary. He told her she would have a very special baby. Angels came to shepherds in the middle of the night. the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome back, guys. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. This is our last week to be working on our Christmas verse, okay? We're going to run through it one time, and then I'm going to spin the spinner, and we're going to do some silly things to help us memorize our verse, okay? We'll run through it one time together. Chaney, Charlie, you guys ready? Okay, Luke 2, 10 through 11. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Good. Okay. DJ, JJ, you guys ready? 
deep voice. Okay, I want to hear your manliest voice. I know this isn't very manly, but okay. Are you guys ready? And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Good job. All right, Reagan, Ellie. While patting your head. All right, we're going to do it while we pat our head, okay? And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Okay, Dylan Malone, we're going to spend one more time. Hold heading head. We just did that one. Okay, the whisper voice. Everyone get your whisper ready. Are you ready? And the angel said to them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Good job, guys. Now, last week we talked about Mary. Remember Mary? And, and the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, and she was afraid. And the angel told her, don't be afraid. The Holy Spirit was going to overshadow you. And you were going to have a child, and he was going to be called the Son of God. And what did Mary say? Did she agree? Yes, she did. She agreed. And so then Mary was engaged to be married to who? Joseph. Remember Joseph? And while he was considering whether he wanted to go ahead and get married to Mary after he found out she had a baby, well, God sent angel to talk to Joseph in a dream. And he told him not to be afraid to marry Mary, that the baby that she was carrying was the savior of the world. It was going to save the people from their sin. So Joseph and Mary got married. That's right. They did. And then they had to go on a journey to Bethlehem to be counted. All the people had to go to the city they were from to be counted. So Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem to be counted. And when they got there, what happened, guys? Do you remember? They went to the inn. Let's put this right here. They went to the inn. And what were they told when they got to the inn? What did the innkeeper tell them? Did he say, come on in, find a room? No, he said, there's no room at the inn. So Mary and Joseph had to spend the night where they kept the animals, which was probably behind in a house or somewhere. So let's make a little stable here for Mary and Joseph to stay in. Here, we'll put, put some pillars there, and we're going to put one there, and we'll put some hay right over here. Let's put some animals there, okay? Some cows. This cow can be eating some hay. And here is the donkey that Mary probably traveled on. Here's a nice feed trough for him to eat out of. And we'll put Mary there in the barn where she was getting ready to have a baby. And in the middle of the night, she had baby Jesus. Baby Jesus was born. There we go. Let's, there he is. Look at that. Baby Jesus was born at night in a stable. So what did she do with him? She wrapped him in swaddling clothes, which were strips of clothes. And where did she put him? Do you know? Do you remember? In the feed trough where they feed the animals. They place baby Jesus right there. So then what happened later that night? Do you remember what Mr. Dustin told us? Remember the shepherds? were out in the fields watching their sheep over here. They were watching all their sheep, trying to keep up with them. And it was night in the sky. And who, what happened then? An angel of the Lord appeared to them and told them about Jesus. And he told them that they could find him in a manger. And just like Mr. Dustin said, it wasn't normal for people to put their babies in a trough for animals. So he told them where they could find him. And then a host of angels 
appeared and they sang. And after they had departed, what did the shepherds do? Do you remember? Man, they t- went as fast as they can to find baby Jesus. And they worshipped him. And they were excited and they were filled with joy. And then when they left, they told everybody they saw about Jesus and the Savior that was born. Okay, guys. So like Miss Corey said, Jesus' birth brought great joy to the shepherds who were out in the fields near Bethlehem. They went right away that night and they found Jesus. But there were others from a faraway country that also heard about Jesus' birth. God got their attention by placing a special star in the sky. Do any of you know who these people were? Yeah, they were the wise men, or sometimes they're called the magi. These wise men were very important men who lived in the East. They studied the stars, and they may have even read some of the Old Testament scriptures. When these wise men saw the star in the sky, they understood that a king had been born. They wanted to go and see this new king, but they were going to have to travel a really long time to get there. So we know... When the shepherds came, they came immediately. They came that night. They saw Jesus. But when the magi or the wise men came, it was going to take them a while to get to baby Jesus. So it took the wise men a while to travel so many miles. But they finally came to the city of Jerusalem. And there was a king there. He was a very big bad and evil man and his name was Herod and when he found out that there were visitors asking about the new king Herod became jealous he was the king he didn't like that people were excited and talking about a new king he was very worried that he might lose power Herod called the wise men to come to him let's look in the bible and find out what he said to the wise men We're going to go to the book of Matthew and look in chapter 2, verse 8. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. So where did the Herod, where did Herod tell the wise men to go? To Bethlehem. Do you, what did it say that Herod wanted uh, to do when they found the child? Yeah, Herod said that he wanted to worship the baby. Hmm, Do you think Herod was telling the truth? He wasn't, was he? No, Herod was a very mean and wicked man, and he lied to the wise men. He didn't want to worship and see this new baby. He wanted to get rid of him. Do you guys think that the wise men did what Herod wanted them to do? They were called wise men for a reason, right? No, they knew Herod was up to something tricky, right? So they weren't going to do that. The wise men headed to Bethlehem to search for Jesus, but it was going to be hard to find them on their hard to find Jesus on their own. We're going to listen and see what God did to help them. Matthew 2:9 through 10. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. So what did the wise men see? What what were they going to follow to lead them to baby Jesus? The star. That's right. Were they excited? Yeah, it says that they were filled with joy. That's right. This special star would lead them right to the house where Jesus was. And very soon they were going to see their Savior. All right, let's listen to Matthew 2, 11 and 12 now. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. All right, so what did they bring baby Jesus? 
gold, frankenstein, and myrrh, right? No, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So you guys are thinking, what are these things? Well, I asked the same thing. So I went to my friend Google and I said, what is frankincense? So that's like a precious oil or like an incense that you burn and it's very rare and it could be used for medicinal purposes. It could be used for a lot of different things. So these wise men brought Jesus these very valuable gifts back in that time. Okay, and they traveled really far to get there, right? They traveled really far to bring baby Jesus gifts that were worthy of a king. All right, so what about King Herod? Did the wise men go back and tell him where they found Jesus? No. How did they know they shouldn't go back to him? Let's look at verse 12 again. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way. Because they knew if they went back to King Herod and told them that King Herod was going to do something very bad, right? So they did not go back. Okay, they were warned in a dream. God gave them that dream. All right, we're going to look at our Christmas poster here. Do you see how God arranged for different people to find baby Jesus? First, it was the shepherds, right? The angel told the shepherds where to find baby Jesus. And then we have the wise men, and they followed the star to find baby Jesus. All right, God placed a special star in the sky so that they would see it, and they traveled a long journey from another country so that they could worship him and give him gifts. And when Jesus was born, he brought hope and joy, not only to the shepherds and wise men, but also to us today. Because of Jesus, we have the hope of being saved from our sins and the joy of knowing him as our Savior. Ten, twelve, fifty-seven, three, two, nine. Brownie, what are you doing? Playing hide and seek. How do you play? Well, one player counts while the are counting. The other players hide. Then the one that counted tries to find the players that are hiding. That sounds fun. Do you like to count or to hide better? I like to count because I'm a good counter. Do you want to hear me count? Sure. Okay. One, two, four, twenty-five, eleven, seven, twelve, nine, and ten. See, don't you think I'm a good counter? Well, you did get to ten, so that's a good start. Did you know that people went to find Jesus when he was a baby? They did. Who? The night that Jesus was born, shepherds went to find him. Did they find him? Yes, they found him right where the angel said he would be. Wow, who else searched for Jesus? The wise men from the east. Did they find Jesus too? They did, but Jesus wasn't a baby anymore when they found him. Is that when... That bad King Herod wanted to get rid of Jesus? Yes, it was. Did you know that the wise men worshipped Jesus and gave him gifts? What kind of gifts? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Did they help that bad king find Jesus too? No, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod. That's good. How did the wise men find Jesus? The angels told the shepherds where to find Jesus, but how did the wise men know where to look? Remember, they followed the star in the sky. Really? Yes, and this wasn't just any star. This was a special star that led them to the house where Jesus was. I wish a star would help me find the other players in hide-and-seek. Teacher, will you play hide-and-seek with me now? Sure, Brownie. How about you count and I'll go hide? Yay! Okay. One, twenty-nine, fifty-three, A, B, C, I mean, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Guys, at Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus here on earth as a little baby, okay? But we know that that little baby Jesus 
was here to serve a very important purpose. He was going to die on the cross for us and take the punishment for our sins. And after that, he rose again. Okay? And he went to prepare a place for believers. And when we believe in the Lord Jesus, we are saved. Okay? So as we go into the new year, I hope that all of you will seek a closer relationship with God. Okay? How do we do that? Hmm? Well, how do we get closer to anyone? We spend time with them, don't we? We spend time with them. And so when we read our Bibles, we find out more about who Jesus is, we find out about God's plan for us as believers, and we find out how much God loves us and how the Holy Spirit helps us get to know God more and live holy lives, okay? So when we pray and when we worship and when we read our Bibles, it creates a closer relationship with Him, okay? And when we mess up, and we will mess up, all of us mess up, okay? And when we do, we can ask God to forgive us, and He will, right there on the spot. He will forgive us, okay? So let's pray one more time, all right? One more time before we go into the new year, okay? Father, we do thank you. We thank you um, for your son. We thank you uh, that you sent him to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. We thank you, Lord, that by simply believing in him, uh, and that He rose again. Our place in heaven is secure with You. And uh, we thank You for the kids who are watching these videos each week, Lord. And we uh, just pray that as we go into the new year, that, uh, that they would all grow closer to You, Lord. We thank You for the way You are already working in their hearts and in their lives, Lord, and in their homes. And we just pray this year that, uh, that you would give each and every one a heartfelt desire to know you more, to be in the Bible more, to pray more, and to worship you more. And uh, we just thank you so much for that. And uh, we love you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, Happy New Year. 2021. It is going to be 2021. Dun, 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 d